hello everybody welcome to sinal's kitchen today we'll be making stuffed chicken breast and these are the things we need for our stuffed chicken breast first we need chicken breast you can see they've not been taught just the breast like that i'll show you how what we are going to use it to do then i'm also going to be using cheese you can use either cheddar or mozzarella any cheese you want so you need cheese then carrots then i also have my spices i have ginger garlic salt and chicken seasoning i'm going to be using butter and parsley you can decide to use spinach instead of um parsley but parsley is fine for now okay the first thing we're going to do is to open up our chicken and i'll show you how to do that now so you're going to take your chicken and by the side use a very sharp knife to just share into two open it up be careful so it doesn't open up to the other side just open up a little you can see make it flat like a butterfly i'm going to do another one cut it from the thick part just open it up that's another one after cutting our chicken open the next thing I'm going to do is to mix our dried spices together just try to make it go around then I'm going to use it to rub my chicken. Rub it into my chicken. Make sure it goes into the chicken. Now that we have our chicken like this, I'm going to set it aside and mix my parsley I already chopped parsley with my carrots just add it to the carrots and mix it very well so we can start stuffing our chicken also going to be adding a bit of butter and mixing everything together just mix the butter well with the carrots and the parsley if you're using shredded cheese you can as well mix it now but because i'm not using shredded cheese that's why my cheese is still aside if i was using shredded cheese i would have put it together with this meat now my carrot and parsley is ready my cheese is ready and you also need a baking sheet on a baking tray so your chicken doesn't stick when you put it in the oven the next thing i'm going to do is to stuff this into my chicken first you take your chicken you remember you opened it in the middle so i'm just going to put a bit of my carrots it shouldn't be too full just spread it out i'm also going to be adding my cheese you can see i already added this then just cover it And that will go to my baking tray. Pick another one and do the same. So you pick your chicken, add your stuffing and your cheese. Then just press it down. You can see the way it looks. This is going to be yum. Before we put it in the oven, we're first going to heat it a bit. So I put a pan on heat, then put a bit of butter on the pan and let it melt. Then I'm going to line my chicken carefully. 
So it doesn't open up. In here. I'm just going to refine both sides before I put it up to the oven. Just for a minute. It's time for us to turn to the other side. You can see I'm being careful so it doesn't open up. If you're not using an oven, you can just keep trying like this. That if you don't have an oven, you can cover it and let it keep steaming. But I'm going to be transferring this into my oven right now. So back to the baking sheet and into the oven. So now my chicken is oven ready. I'm going to be putting this in the oven for about 15 minutes and that's fine. Now it's time for us to check our chicken. It is almost ready so I'm still going to leave this for another 5 to 10 minutes and it will be ready. You can see just 5 to 10 minutes for it to dry up a bit. Our chicken is ready. Oh, yum 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 straight out of the oven. Now we're going to open it and see how it looks like. This will taste great with salad. Time to cut open. You can see the center. You can even see this other part of it. It's yum. So you can do something like that and enjoy. Okay, try yours and let's see how it goes. All right, we'll meet again.